they disperse seeds, they pollinate our native trees, they recycle nutrients, and actually because humans are interconnected with nature, they're actually a part of our extended family. It's really important that lots of people are really fighting for nature. are blocking to the polls. The Royal Forest and Bird Society's annual Bird of the Year competition kicks off on the 1st of October. Kia ora, my name is Lissy Finkeheather and I am a Regional Manager for Forest and Bird and I am also one of the Bird of the Year spokespeople. The Bird of the Year is one of New Zealand's most anticipated elections. That is an opportunity for us to promote native birds to the New Zealand public. And what we do is we put together a list of about 75 native bird species and we ask people to vote for their favourite bird or what bird that they think should be bird of the year. Team Pateke are the underducks going into the 2021 games and they'll need a strong showing here to beat Team Feel, who've been so strong in recent years. We seek people to express their interest if they want to volunteer and represent one of our birds and be the campaign manager. And we switch now to the triathlon heats, where Team Korora are just finishing their swimming leg. Our volunteer uh, bit of the year campaign managers really get into it. You know, they make songs, they make videos, they trash talk other birds. In fact, people get so enthusiastic about it that we have to watch out for electoral fraud. Can the Minister reveal which bird, or bat, she is backing for Forest and Birds 2021 Bird of the Year competition? Well, Mr Speaker, yes I can. This year I am proud to say I am backing the Kia. So we had a bit of controversy with this year's Bird of the Year and it ruffled a lot of feathers. We introduced the Pekka Pekka, so that is New Zealand's native bat. And we did this because bats face similar pressures to a lot of our native bird species in New Zealand. And because there's only two bats, it would have been a little bit boring to have bat of the year. So we decided to include bats into our bird of the year. I must say a lot of the other contestants are pretty annoyed because the bat is getting a lot of attention this year. And Mm, maybe there is a pretty good chance that the bat would then win. <laughs> it's just good to finally have bats recognised as the birds that they are. <laughs> so Bird of the Year is really important because it's a really fun and engaging way to get people to learn more about native birds in New Zealand. A lot of our native birds in New Zealand are under significant pressures. About 80% are either threatened or at risk of extinction. Climate change is one of the biggest ones, habitat destruction and also pests. So by running projects and, and campaigns like Bird of the Year, it gets people interested in birds and gets them learning more about birds and, and the threats that they face. And when you increase people's knowledge about nature or native species such as birds, it actually increases their desire to protect them more and to partake in activities to help restore and protect our native bird species. Voting opened on the 18th of October and people have got until the 31st of October to cast their vote. And to do that, you can head to www.birdoftheyear.org.nz and this year you can actually vote for up to five birds.